In the previous episode of this World Tour series on Shaper 2, we explored these parameters individually. Today we will see how to put everything into practice, try different sound sources and most importantly rearrange the four core parameters. Let's begin. When we first open Shaper 2, we see that the default signal flow is this one. However, we can drag and drop these four sections around to change it. Since the parameters are four, we can obtain a total of 24 different Shaper 2 permutations, just like with anagrams. Changing a parameter's positions means changing its source material, and so its behavior. So, for example, a parameter located before or after the Shaper section will have completely different sounds to work with. Let's start by combining a gate and a resonator, and we'll demonstrate them through this clavinet riff. We use a clavinet because its plucked sound has a sharp attack and a decay where the timbre naturally changes over time. We may want to set the resonator parameter at a very high level so that it will be really noticeable. If we raise the gate level, Shaper 2 will chop the sound and create some bursts that will excite the resonator. Now let's invert them. We have fewer resonant bursts and the gate circuit now chops the resonating tails. This combination works great with drum loops too. We suggest to try it with voices as well, but in this case it may be necessary to keep some dry signal in the final mixer to preserve the intelligibility. Now let's move on to the two central parameters, Shaper and Transform. Both perform complex functions over the waveform, so their combined behavior may not be as predictable as before. Let's pick up a sine wave and check the differences. According to which order we choose, we can see on the oscilloscope that the last parameter is the more predominant. We can test this difference with different sounds, like a classic sort of synth pad, or another drum loop. Some of these extreme settings really work great with stringed instruments, such as clavinets, or even actual electric guitars. Speaking of guitars and extreme distortion, it is nice to see how the resonator parameter behaves when placed before or after shaper and transform. When placed after a heavy distortion, it sounds like a comb filter. If we change the delay time back and forth, we can obtain a sort of flanger. Place it before, we can simulate an excellent Larsen effect. In this video we showed how changing the order of four parameters can open up unexpected ways of audio destruction. There are 24 different permutations, so we can easily say that Shaper 2 is more than the sum of its parts. We suggest experimenting with a couple of parameters at a time and getting acquainted with their mutual relationship, then moving on to other two and so on. In this way you will master the whole permutation of Shaper 2 and you'll be able to fast track your way to achieve your sound. 
If you found this video useful or if you seek more content related to Shepard 2 and other K devices products, please consider subscribing to our channel and staying in touch with us through our social media.